action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. I've got a lot to cover today, including highlights from last week's New York Comic Con. But before we get into that, I just wanted to update you on the contest that we have going on Toy News International for the $500 store credit to Big Bad Toy Store. This is a toy photography contest that we're running. I talked about it in a previous video. Now this is a three-stage contest and the first stage where people could enter their submissions, their toy photography submissions is actually closed. So if you didn't get in on the first stage, well, you're not gonna be able to win the $500 store credit, but yet there is still a chance for you to win. We're now into the second stage, which is a fan vote stage. So we have over on the Toy News International message boards, a breakdown of all the entries in their, in their photos. And people can now, who are registered on the message boards can go and vote. They can pick up to the three uh, favorites and then the top five that get the most votes will move on to the final stage. Now, as far as you, you know, assuming you didn't enter into stage one, how can you win? Well, we have the normal $100 store credit contest to Big Bad Toy Store that we do every month on the message boards. And when you vote, even if that's all you do, that will automatically enter you at least one time into that contest. So again, you will actually have a chance to win just by voting, even if you didn't have a submission in there. But despite the contest, you can also, you know, just go over to see a lot of cool action figure toy photography. And if you've got a favorite toy photographer who did enter the contest, you can cheer them on as well. So uh, definitely, I think it's worth checking out. And I will have a link to, to all of those entries and the contest details and everything in the video description below. Okay, so let's get into the news. So most of this news is gonna focus on stuff that we saw at New York Comic Con last week. And I gotta be honest, it was, there wasn't as much as I was hoping for. Uh, a lot of companies didn't really show much in the way of new stuff, stuff that we hadn't seen like you know since San Diego Comic Con. So that was a little disappointing. We saw a few new things, which were kind of cool, which is what I'm basically going to be going over today. But it wasn't quite as much as I was hoping for. But let's start off with McFarlane Toys. So uh, first of all, they did not show off any of their DC Comics stuff. I'd gotten word right before the convention, just a few days before the convention, that, that they weren't actually going to be showing anything off, not until 2020, I'm told. So I, I don't know what that means. Originally, when I talked to Todd McFarlane at Toy Fair, when it was first announced they were taking over the DC license, he was hopeful that they would have actual new product out on shelf, essentially, as soon as the new year began. But I don't know if being they haven't showed anything off, they haven't put up anything for solicitation, and there's really no big events for them to debut this stuff until February with Toy Fair. I don't know if that means that maybe the stuff isn't actually going to be out on shelves until a little bit later in the year. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, they might just put it out there. Um, you know, who knows? But McFarlane did. They did have a new figure that they showed off at New York Comic Con, which was actually kind of a surprise figure. And this was uh, based on the, the Valiant comic character known as Bloodshot and specifically on the movie version. So I'm not entirely sure if this movie will actually see the light of day, but there's supposed to be a movie based on the Bloodshot character that will star Vin Diesel. There was a limited edition comic book cover put out with, with, with his likeness and everything. And that is what this new action figure that McFarlane Toys is doing is based on is the Vin Diesel movie version of the character. So you can see there's definitely a, a strong resemblance to Vin Diesel with this action figure. They had it on display at New York Comic Con, but then shortly afterwards uh, released official images for the figure. So the figure is going to be released in January 2020 and it's going to come with, said to have about 22 points of articulation. And then it's going to come with a machine gun, uh, a knife, two handguns, and and uh, a figure stand. So uh, again, this is based on the Blind Spot character from Valiant Comics, but specifically on the Vin Diesel movie version. And whether the movie actually gets released or not, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, now moving on to NECA Toys. So right before New York Comic Con news came out that the owner of NECA Toys, Joel Weinshanker, I believe I pronounced that last name. If not, I do apologize. But that he had gained controlling interest in the uh, Loot Crate. Loot Crate, you're probably familiar with. They do the box subscription service where you would have, they would send you boxes full of various items, including things like, you know, Funko Pop figures and T-shirts and, and stuff like that. Well, that Loot Crate went, declared bankruptcy, but then uh, Joel, I guess, came along and and gave them a lifeline and and purchased the company or at least controlling interest in the company. 
So um, essentially, even though technically it's not NECA Toys themselves, the same person that owns NECA Toys now owns Loot Crate. And with that, it seems like we're already seeing, even though this deal just happened, it seems like uh, a number of joint uh, ventures between the two companies has begun. So first of all, they started doing uh, uh, a Batman figure, a DC comic Batman figure, a, a Tech Shield Batman, which is a tribute to the old Kenner Batman figure. This was offered through Loot Crate. Now, if you missed out, unfortunately, the door or the window of opportunity to getting that figure closed. I, I believe the last day you could try and get that figure was on October 7th. You can still go to like eBay or such, but but um, you can't go to. I don't think you can go to the Loot Crate site and get it anymore. Now the the packaging again is tribute to the old Kenner line, but you can see the figure itself seems to be basically just a repaint of their Michael Keaton Batman figure with the metallic gold. So if I didn't get it, but if I did, I probably would have kept this one in the packaging. That seems to be the coolest thing about it. But besides the Batman figure, we also got an announcement that they're going to be doing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure. Uh, a 90s movie splinter a translucent spirit a splinter figure with a little fire based on that one scene in the movie and then also they're doing a, a dress and play gremlins figure so um, two different uh, figures or a total of three that are, have now been offered through loot crate and being that the same person owns both i would suspect that we're going to start seeing more and more exclusives uh, from NECA toys offered through the loot crate subscription service um, and if you want more details on this, how to get the Splinter and the Gremlins figure, head over to the Loot Crate site and I'll have a link in the video description below to that. DC Collectibles right before New York Comic Con announced a number of new figures for both their Batman Animated Series line and DC Essentials line. Now the DC Essential figures for the most part seem to be repaints, but we're getting uh, quite a few. We're getting a new Batman Rebirth version with different colors. And then we're also getting Flash with Speed Force, which is a translucent figure. So if you're a translucent figure collector, this is one I think you'll definitely want to check out. We're getting a new Nightwing with the black and red outfit as opposed to black and blue outfit. We're getting Return of Superman in the black outfit, which is kind of cool. And then they're doing a new line, it looks like, or a subline of the DC Essentials called Deceased Figures, which essentially look like zombie type figures. So with that, we're getting Batman. The Joker, Harley Quinn, and Superman. And then for their animated series line, you know, they started the kind of continuing to do characters that weren't actually in the cartoon, but in that same style. So we're going to be seeing uh, Batman Who Laughs. Now that's the only figure out of this group that they announced that we've seen. There's also going to be a Talon, a new Hush figure, and Thomas Wayne as Batman as well. But again, the only one that they released an image of was the, the Batman who last figure. Okay, and then specifically for New York Comic Con reveals, going back to NECA Toys, so they had their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures on display. The only new figure that we hadn't seen at San Diego Comic Con that they had on display was the Triceraton figure, the, the dinosaur guy, and he looks pretty good. They also had uh, packaged images for the next wave of animated series Target 2 packs, which includes the Rocksteady and Bebop. I still don't have any kind of specific release date other than fall, and obviously we're in fall now, so I would expect those to start dropping any time now within the next month. But again, I don't have any kind of specific release date on those. But, but um, I'm probably those are going to be in, in high demand you know, with the Rocksteady and Bebop. And you have the two foot soldiers. You also have the, the turtle figures with, with the variant paint applications on them. But definitely the Rocksteady and Bebop, I think, will be in very high demand with those. And as far as I know of, those are only going to be sold in physical stores like with the first wave. They unfortunately are not going to be made available on the Target website. For Storm Collectibles, they revealed two new figures. So first of all, for their DC Injustice 112 scale line, they're going to be doing Superman. Now this is, of course, based on the video game design, costume design. And then for Mortal Kombat, they also showed for the first time their Raiden figure. I don't have any kind of specific release dates on these figures yet, but hopefully they will be uh, solicited and we'll, we'll get more information on these very soon.
Diamond Select Toys showed off another one of their new select 7-inch scale John Wick figures. So this one features John Wick in his white shirt with the sleeves rolled up. It's going to come with a bunch of new accessories, and that one is slated with a winter 2020 release date. Tomasi Nations had several reveals. So first of all, for their Dragon Ball line, they showed off a couple different SH Figure Arts figures. No release dates on these, but it looks like we're going to be getting Great Ape Vegeta, Captain Jinyu and Bluma's motorcycle, so a vehicle for the line, which is kind of interesting. Also for Street Fighter, they showed off their Saget figure. No release date on that one either. Then for Star Wars, with their movie realization line, they're going to be doing Admiral Akbar. And for Marvel, they showed off, uh, looks like an updated version of their Avengers Endgame Captain America figure. So this one basically is going to have the added broken shield accessory and a lightning effect that you can attach to Thor's hammer. I don't have any release details on this. I don't know if this is like going to be the U.S. version. Sometimes the U.S. versions get added accessories that, that weren't released on the regular versions. Maybe uh, an overseas web exclusive as well. Again, I don't have any specific details. But if you held off on getting the SH Figure Arts Endgame Cap, it's probably a good thing because this is probably the one that you're going to want to get with the Broken Shield. Mezco had a couple new 112 collective figures to show off. So first of all, for you DC comic fans, they showed off their Mr. Freeze figure. So the, for New York Comic Con as an exclusive, they did a Batman Black Mask two pack. And now it looks like we're getting Mr. Freeze as well, which looks pretty good. Uh, the dome, uh, his uh, little helmet thing is, is all frosted up. So you, you don't get to see his face very well. I don't know if that's removable or what. But if you're a Batman fan and like Mr. Freeze, that's one you're going to want to check out. They also had their Gambit figure. I can't remember if they had Gambit on display at San Diego. I know we had seen Gambit in one of their catalogs. But they had him on display. And since then, they've actually released official images for the figure. And it is currently up for pre-order. Now, Gambit is going to have things like multiple pairs of hands. He's going to have uh, cards, just regular cards. And then, like, energized cards and other stuff that he throws. And he's also going to have two different head sculpts with this one. And, of course, a figure stand like we always see. Also, just wanted to note that they had their Iron Fist figure on display with the added sash, which they added to the figure and I wasn't terribly impressed with the figure when I saw it in the promo images but actually when I got to see it in person it actually doesn't look too bad so uh, I would say it definitely is an improvement over what we saw in the original promo images on that one the Morbius figure I don't know I wasn't nearly as impressed with okay and then finally with Hasbro they showed off stuff for Marvel Star Wars and Transformers now, I previously talked about most of the Marvel stuff in a video the other day, so I'm not really going to focus on the Marvel Legends stuff. I will tell you something I didn't mention in that video was a confirmation on the Retro Deadpool figure, which is a fan channel exclusive. It's going to come on one of those Toy Biz vintage card backs, or I should say X-Force card backs to be uh, precise. This figure is going to be released as an EU convention exclusive first, like with the Grey Hulk figure, and then will be released here in the United States in November. November 4th is when it's supposed to become available here in the U.S., and you'll be able to get it pretty much that sells all the other fan channel exclusive figures like the Cowboy Logan and stuff. So again, that, that Deadpool figure was confirmed. They released official images and everything. And because I didn't mention it in the last uh, video I did about Marvel Legends, I wanted to mention it here. But that's really it as far as Marvel Legends that I'm going to talk about today. Other than I will tell you, for those of you wanting to get the new Marvel Legends X-Men 3-pack and 2-pack, the one with uh, the X-Factor figures and the updated Jean Grey and Wolverine and Cyclops, those are starting to hit GameStop uh, stores now, so if you want to get those sets right away, you know, you might check your local GameStop. Okay, and then for Transformers, so first of all, big news, Unicron was funded. I, I don't know how many people were truly surprised about that, but, um, you know, some people have questioned whether they legitimately got 8,000 backers or not, but honestly, does it really matter if you didn't want the Unicron, if you thought it was too expensive, then you didn't get it, you're not going to get it. And for those of you who did want it and did pay for it, you're actually going to get it because it has technically been funded. And so um, that's pretty cool. I did end up getting one for myself. I, I debated back and forth, but at the end of the day, I decided to go on and get one at the last minute. I actually waited until we saw that it was definitely over the 8,000. I don't know the exact number of uh, backers it said. 
I know it was over 8,000 because it was like 8,135 when I purchased mine. If you go to the HasLab website now, it just says 8,000 plus. So I don't have a specific number of, uh, of backers that they actually said that they ended up with. But again, Unicron is coming and that's pretty cool. Now for reveals at New York Comic Con, the big focus, and I actually did a live stream video from the Hasbro Media Event for Transformers, but I did want to go over these. The big uh, reveals were for the next stage after Siege, which is called Earthrise. And the concept behind this, as I'm told, is it's basically going to focus on stories of their travels between Cybertron and Earth. So, you know, in the cartoon it was real quick, but apparently now they're kind of stringing it out and, and a bunch of stuff happens. Now, as for the toys go, the toys are pretty much in Earth modes because these, you know, when they get to Earth, they get scanned with their Earth modes and that's what they're basing them on. But for the actual specific reveals of stuff they showed, they showed us a new deluxe wheeljack, a character named Ironworks, which I'm not really familiar with, Cliff Jumper, which was actually probably my favorite reveal, uh, very reminiscent of you know how he appeared in the cartoon. He's even got like the skis in the one episode where Cybertron gets pulled into Earth's orbit. You see him skiing uh, with the on the wheels, and so they actually have that feature with the toy. So pretty cool. We're also getting Hoist. And then uh, those are all deluxe figures. And then for Voyager class, we're getting an updated Starscream. So Starscream in his Earth mode, which actually looked really good when I saw it at New York Comic Con. And then the other one that's going to be Voyager class is a new Grapple figure. And then finally, we're getting for Leader class, we're getting yet another Optimus Prime. I mean, I love Optimus Prime, but I mean... I, my God, how many different Optimus Prime figures do we actually need? But anyway, you know, he is coming for the Earthrise line. He's going to have his trailer. He's going to have, you know, features where you can put him in the trailer and stuff as, as like a medical bay, like just like with the old toy and everything, uh, the original G1 toy and everything. So, you know, if you're, I mean, if you need another Optimus Prime, this one definitely looks pretty good. It's just, you know, they've done, they do Optimus Prime so much. <laughs> it's, I just have to kind of laugh. Anyway, um, so that was pretty much it for Transformers. And then finally for Star Wars, we had uh, several reveals, mostly store exclusive reveals. They really didn't reveal much new in the way for stuff for the new movie, probably because they can't show that stuff until the movie gets out because of spoiler uh, spoilers, I'm assuming. Uh, really the only thing they showed for the new movie that we had kind of already seen before was that Black Series C-3PO figure, uh, the one that has Chewbacca's uh, bowcaster and bandolier. Now, the cool thing that I, I hadn't realized about the figure is, you know, we see in one of the trailers, C-3PO for some reason has red eyes. Well, this figure actually incorporates that when you put it in the refrigerator or get it cold, the eyes will actually turn red. So uh, I don't know why his eyes turn red. Some speculate that Darth Vader uh, basically uh, uses his body or something in the movie. I don't know. But but for whatever reason, his, his eyes do turn red in the movie. And, and because of that, you have that feature with the figure. Now, other exclusives that they announced, oh, and that's going to be a Target store exclusive, so that is actually a store exclusive figure. But then other store exclusive figures that they announced are they're going to be doing uh, Clone Commander Fox. So I actually uh, reviewed that figure already. It started to see release at GameStop. Um, main reason why I'm bringing it up here is that when I did the video of that figure, I thought it was a GameStop exclusive. It is not. It is a shared retail exclusive. So Big Bad Toy Store will be carrying this figure. They have it up for pre-order. They say they're going to ship it in November. The other places besides Big Bad Toy Store and GameStop that are going to carry the figure, I'm told, are Barnes & Noble and FYI Store. So those are the places if you want to get that Commander Fox that you should check. Or like I said, you can just go to Big Bad Toy Store and pre-order it and not have to worry about searching for it. For Walmart, Walmart's getting uh, quite a few exclusives, unfortunately, uh, just because Walmart exclusives, in my opinion, are the hardest ones to get. But for Black Series, we're getting uh, the Spirit Yoda figure. So I talked about this figure previously, but it's now confirmed as a Walmart exclusive, not Walgreens like the Obi-Wan, but Walmart. So that's the translucent Yoda figure. We're also going to be getting a Yavin Luke. So this is the same Yavin Luke that's going to be released at, in that, that fancy uh, box with the additional accessories that's first going to be released as a EU exclusive convention exclusive and then will be made available online here in the U.S. on November 11th. Uh, I know Hasbro Toy Shop actually threw that figure up br briefly on, on their website to pre-order, but then later told everybody that if you did pre-order it, you weren't going to get it until November. 
but the, if you don't want all the accessories and the fancy packaging, you can just get it in regular Black Series packaging uh, without all the additional accessories, and that figure is going to be a Walmart exclusive. And then there's also going to be a Jedi Luke, a new updated Jedi Luke Skywalker. This one is going to feature the cloak and hood, a soft goods cloak and hood that was not included with the original Jedi Luke, and that one is also going to be a Walmart exclusive. No specific release dates, but probably the first one that's probably going to see release is is, is the Jedi Luke because uh, that figure has kind of leaked out already. So I, I'm guessing that's the first one that we'll see release. Then we're also getting for Best Buy as a Best Buy exclusive, the Mandalorian IG-11. So very similar to IG-88, but he's got a different bandolier and such. And that one is going to be a Best Buy exclusive. There's a Chewbacca with C-3PO from Empire Strikes Back. So the C-3PO has the removable limbs. You get the little netted uh, backpack so you can put C-3PO in it and the Chewbacca can carry C-3PO around like we saw in Empire Strikes Back. That is an Amazon exclusive. That figure is currently up for pre-order now. So you can go over to the Amazon website and, and, and secure it if you want to. Now, as regular release figures, we are getting a Wedge Antilles figure based on A New Hope. And then there's also the Rise of Skywalker. They're doing uh, the Jet Trooper, the First Order Jet Trooper, which is currently there is a, a carbonized version that is hitting Walmart stores now. But there's a regular version that we'll see release everywhere um, in that figure. I don't think it's out now, but probably will be out very soon. And then for vintage collector fans, there's a new three pack that was announced that's gonna be released as a Target store exclusive. This is called the Cave of Evil three pack, which features Luke Skywalker from Dagobah, a Yoda figure, and then Darth Vader with the removable faceplate that has Luke Skywalker's face, the version that Luke encountered in the cave on Dagobah and Empire Strikes Back. So that one's kind of cool. Now it is pricey, that figure, that three pack is gonna cost $40, so um, definitely kind of pricey, but probably the for the vintage collection, that was kind of the coolest reveal in my opinion, that I, I like that Darth Vader with the Luke Skywalker face. And then also there's gonna be a new uh, Sith Trooper with a lot of the weapons, like we saw with the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version in the Black Series, so they're doing a vintage collection version of that one and that is going to be an amazon exclusive there's also a regular version of the sith trooper that will be available everywhere that just has two of the weapons but again if you want all the different weapons then you'll have to get the amazon exclusive version and then other vintage collection figures they showed off was the Yavin Luke, which we actually did a review of on Jedi Insider several weeks ago. It's been out overseas. That's going to be a Walmart exclusive here in the U.S. They're doing Ceremonial Leia on the vintage card back, you know, the outfit she wore at the end of A New Hope when she put the medals on Han and Luke. We're getting a Jawa on the vintage card back, vintage collection card back, and the Black Stormtroopers from uh, Rogue One will also be done on the vintage collection line. And those are all general release figures. Okay, so that's it for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about. Let me know in the comments section below. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And if you're so inclined, also like the video. You can follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. Please be sure to uh, check out the Action Figure Toy Photography Contest and vote for your, your favorite choices and be entered for a chance to win $100 store credit to Big Bad Toy Store. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you later.